Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the 11th video of our first chapter number systems. In the last class we had seen there are different kinds of decimal uh, expansions. One is terminating, the other one that we had learned was non-terminating and the other one that we had seen was non-terminating recurring. So terminating is where the remainder becomes zero, the, di the division stops. Non-terminating is where the division stops. I mean the division, division does not stop because it is non-terminating and recurring means it, the values in the quotient part repeat themselves again and again. So in today's main we will have to uh, see what we are doing. Uh, so write in decimal form, so there will be some questions that will be given to us in P by Q or fraction form. We have to write it in decimal form by dividing it. Then we have to say what kind of decimal expansion it has. It means whether it is terminating, non-terminating, recurring, it depends. So let us go with our first question. The first question will be 36 divided by 100. Okay. So let us divide this. 36 should be divided by 100. So obviously 36 will not come in the table of 100. So I will take 0 point and make this as 360. So I will do next 100, 3 is a... 300 and 360 minus 300 is 60. Once I have taken 0 and point, I can take one more 0 here. So 106 is 600. Remainder has become 0. Because the remainder has become 0, uh, so the answer will be 0 0.36 for this one. And because the remainder is 0, you will tell it is terminating. Terminating decimal expansion. I am writing in short form. DE means decimal expansion. So it is a terminating decimal expansion. I hope you have understood how this is a terminating decimal expansion because the remainder has become 0. Let us discuss one or two questions more. So I will go with one more. 1 by 11. That means 1 should be divided by 11. Obviously, 1 does not come in the table of 11. So, now I have to take 0 point and make this as 11. Okay. So, I know 11 ones are 11 and 11 minus 11 will be 0. Right. So, the decimal stop, I mean the division stops there. So, it was 1. Let me repeat it for you. It was 1 and 1 was supposed to be divided by 11. 1 does not come in the table of 11. So, we take 0 point and make I mean, I should have taken 0. Sorry, my mistake. I took it as 1. Uh, so, 10. 10 also does not come in the table of 11, right? 10 also does not come in the table of 11. So, I can take one more 0 and make this as 100. Okay? So, 11 9s are 99. 100 minus 99 is 1. I repeat what mistake I had done. Instead of taking 0, I had taken 1. Therefore, my entire division was wrong. Uh, sorry for the confusion. So 100 minus 99 is 1. So once this is over, uh, because I have taken 0 and point, I can take 0 again. But 10 again will not come. If I want to take 1 more 0, I should take 0 here. Now it will become 100. 11 9 is 99 and 100 minus 99 will be 1. So I can take 0, this will become 10. And 10 again does not come in the table of 11, so I should take 1 more 0, make it as 100. 11 9 is 99. 100 minus 99 1. So this keeps on repeating. So the answer for 1 by 11 is 0 0.090909 and goes on. Okay. So what we can do to write and we don't know how many times 09 we are writing. You know, some people may prove it 2 times. Some people may do it 4, 5, 10 times also. So the best way to write this type of numbers is 0 0.09 bar. Bar. So that is like putting a dash on the number. What does it mean? It means that 0 9 is repeating itself many many times again and again. Now first of all because the division is non-stopping it will be called as non-terminating and because uh, the values are getting repeated themselves it will be recurring. So this is an example for non-terminating and recurring decimal expansion. So I will give you some questions for homework. You will have to divide the numbers and tell me whether they are terminating, non-terminating and recurring. So your question for homework will be 3 by 13, 2 
2 by 11, 329 by 400. Okay? Uh, and 1 more. 4, 1 by 8. Now, why am I putting this in the last is because this is a mixed fraction. So, first you have to convert this into proper fraction. How 8 fours are? How much? 8 fours are 32. 32 plus 1 will be 33. 8 fours are 32. 32 plus 1 is 33 divided by 8. You have all, you all have learned that in each standard already. So, now you should divide 33 by 8 and see what kind of decimal expansion you get. Please do all the four questions as homework and submit it on our Google Classroom app. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you understood.